Hey guys, thanks for checking out Weekly Jesse Lee. If you love this vlog and if you want more and if you want to see more about my day in the life and what it really takes to have a successful business or multiple successful businesses, please make sure you subscribe, share with a friend, comment below, and just let me know so I can give you what you want. Shoot it on the shoe box. And what if it's that there you want it, then you can't get online. Merry Christmas. Oh, it's from Sydney. Oh. It's not shoes. Hot. Woo! <laughs> this is on my Amazon wish list. Aww. It is a hot towel steamer kit. Well, now it's a broke hot towel steamer kit. It's okay, send it back to Jeff Bezos. He'll give it to me. Oh, God. He's profitable. Now. You mean Lex Luthor? Wow. Hot towel streamer. Steamer. Don't you know I take care of my skin? Right, set up your goals. It's very hard to reach your goal. It's very hard to reach your vision, to achieve your vision if you're not crystal clear on what you want. You know, I'm Haley's on here. She's a leader, obviously, of a very large organization. She is a woman with vision. You can't convince me otherwise because this team wouldn't be here if it weren't for her vision to move people into action, right? She has vision. And it's not to say she's the only one. I just know she's the one who emailed me and asked if I would do this, okay? So have the vision of where you want your life to go. The crazy thing about vision is that when you see it and then when you feel it and then when you start to believe it, the mind starts going into action and it starts to literally birth it, conceive it. All of a sudden you'll look back on your life and be like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like I've cut stuff out for vision boards before that I'm like, why am I cutting out this? And then it happens. Right? Because I felt it. I believed it. All of a sudden, my brain's like, bop, 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 little like alien moves. And the next thing you know, boo, it comes out. I'm like, wow, that worked really, really well. Okay. So hard. Her head's going to pop off. She knows I'm right. Right? Like people are buying you. So what makes you stand out? What makes you be the one they think about? Special. You're in a company that sells some of the best makeup, period. Okay? You just do. All right, I use a lot of makeup, okay, in general. I like makeup a lot, I'm a fan. Y'all sell some fire products. I don't even care if you are horrible at doing makeup. I want y'all to be doing the get readies with me. You know why you should even do them, especially if you are bad at it? Especially if you're bad at it, you should be doing those because then people can follow your progression. I'm real. I don't get on here full face of makeup, got a, I don't have a seven piece suit on up in here trying to tell you. I'm just telling you like it is. Real people want to shop with people who are real. And in 2021, you want to recruit more, you want to sell more, you want to lead more, you've got to be real. Because people want to talk to you about something that is very, it might sound weird, but you're asking people to talk to you about something that is very personal to them. Women are very uncomfortable talking about their skin. They're very uncomfortable talking about their makeup abilities. They're wearing like the wrong shades of everything and they're too scared to say, I don't, eh, that's the real reason I don't do, make do makeup is because I don't know how to match. I don't know how to get rid of my red spots. I don't know how to blend. I don't understand this contouring thing. How can you simplify and where can you add value? If you want more customers, then I want you to add more value, okay? Think of things like do it in the chat. Let's participate. What are things that intimidate people about your product line? Like on the simple, on the simple level, right? I know there's nothing complicated really about the product line, but like, okay, you're giving me ideas. Smoky eyes, right? Don't know how to do smoky eyes. Don't know how to apply. Don't know how to contour. Don't know how to color match. Don't know eyeshadow that's good for colors of eyes. Don't know how to do a wing liner. Don't know skin types. Don't know eyeshadow. Don't know brows. Don't know foundation. Don't know but red lipstick, what color lipstick, liners, don't know, hooded eyes, love it, um, too many foundation types, skincare, concealer, what liner with what lip, don't know how to prime, what primer, we okay, y'all just literally made an entire customer section of a group that whoever the leaders on this call are, take that chat and make quick, simple, like tiny, you know, five by seven, whatever, little flyers, that you can put in a Facebook group, okay? You got, you, you, do you see my vision on this, right? Downloadables, whoever the creatives are on here, quick little downloadables that when somebody purchases, uh, you know, once, once they do, once they get their eyeshadow, you literally print out whatever it is. You print out a contouring for square faces like mine, a contouring for oval faces, a contouring for whatever. You literally send it in the mail with a thank you note. 
You've literally just got a customer for life. You've also solved the problem of, oh my God, okay, I'll buy this stuff, but like, I don't really know how to do a wing liner. Like, what's the tip for wing liner? How do, like, stupid stuff. Like, how do they prevent fallout? Clearly, I like makeup. You know, this is an easy training for me, right? 400 on here, and I made a penis joke. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You have a blue check. That's right. I got blue check. I got blue check. I got blue check on Instagram. Y'all, I love you too. If you don't already follow me, you better follow me. Are you, did, am I on your For You page? Is it, am I on anybody's For You page? Y'all let me know. If I'm on your For You page, put an FY in the comments. I'm just curious. You died laughing. I was like, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm just gonna roll with it. You know, it's true. You're we being, are besties. You're being you. That's right, I'm being me. How could someone be mad? See, you I'm on Steffi, I'm on Tammy Colleen's, I'm on Terry Holman's 1010. Fatima's, Michael's, Shelby's, Blingporium's, For You page, Kelly McBenedict, thank you for following. I love your vibe too, girl. Hey, it's Emily. I'm an inspiration, thank you. Thank you so much, thank you so much. I'm on CBD with Kelly D's, Adelia, Maddox. You're incredible, thank you for doing that training. You're welcome, you're welcome. Um, I'm recovering from COVID. You have me, LOL, and learning. I love that. Marla drink, Bradley, thank you for following. Drink your tea. Uh, Fatima, I am verified on Instagram. Mm. I'm a verified influencer. Pow, 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 pow. How'd you meet Jesse Lee? So I had a network marketing leader that said Jesse Lee was horrible and she was at a uh, the Women of Power conference. That's she was, we were speaking she was hating on somebody yeah. that was empowering women. Exactly. And so I went and I watched her and I thought she was amazing and I told, sent her a message saying she was amazing. And then we just complimented each other, messaged back and forth and became friends. And here we are seven and a half years later. You want to know how me and Jesse Lee became friends? Yes. I told her no man should have his ex-wife's in her house and then needs to throw story. it away. The end. <laughs> is it, did you mention It's a better it? story than that. No, that's, that's what happened. How did, how did that happen? She well, found, she found <laughs> what? Ukraine's marriage stuff with his ex-wife so like in her bad. garage. What? I don't know, but you and Courtney went out there well, I have to for know whatever. How much trash was in the garage? I, I don't remember why. There was a catalyst that I was like, "We're just gonna give it this paperwork. This is crazy, <clears throat> right?" So like, I'm just getting rid of like random crap, you know, just out in the garage. Tell me why I open a drawer and like the box is there. The box, you know, the box, yeah. like the box with all the photos and the love letters. Well, I remember when we were on time crunch. In, in her but garage. We were on time crunch to get everything out. Yeah. Because he went to go short. fish and didn't. He was going he was going fishing and he sucked at it because he didn't catch. It's not the point, but yes. So we were on time crunch. It was me and Courtney. And Prince came out. I was like, I was like, you know what? I think Prince is a real one. I think he's a real one. I think we, I was like, will you help us take out trash, please? And then I was and just he was like, like, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, what in the hell? He's picking stuff up. Oh, hell no. He goes, why are you even with this man? Oh, hell no. Hell no. He's thr throwing it in the trash, like <laughs> slam dunking it. He's like, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, Jesse. I said, you can't tell anybody. He's like, I'm not going to tell nobody, but. You don't need to be with him. Yeah. He's like, why are you with? I repeat, why are you with this? And then when I saw him, I was cordial because that's none of my business. That's right. But regardless, but you were looking out. For you don't need to be good. with. That's that's ridiculous. It is on there. It literally doesn't matter because the algorithm is so smart. The algorithm is so smart. It knows you're a network marketer. If you're a network marketer, it knows you're in real estate. If you're in real estate, it knows if you like women. If you like women, it knows if you like men. If you like men, it knows if you like. You know, men with beards, if you like men with beards, and knows if you want, like, I, okay, example, I'm Hawaiian, I live in Texas, I'm from Maryland, okay? My amount of recruits from the Hawaiian Islands are absurd. Absurd. I'm telling you, at least 30 of my recruits are from the Hawaiian Islands. Texas, blowing up. Local market now, enormous. And all these people from Money Making Maryland, where I am from, but I hated living, crazy, crazy. So... Um, I am, I'm just a live maniac anyway. I pretty much live on live video. 
at 1,000 followers on TikTok, you get the ability to go live on TikTok. So as soon as I got the ability to go live on TikTok, I mean like the minute I got the ability to go live on TikTok, I was live on TikTok, I was live on Instagram, I was live on Facebook, and I will tell you, this is like a major pro tip I haven't said to anyone, so y'all welcome. Y'all should invite people to this page. I do not know what you are doing if you are not inviting people to listen to this. This is fire. Like, I was so smart when I was viral, when I was all over this For You page, when I was all over, all over, okay? When I was, I decided to go live on TikTok. So, what's going on? Nice. I love it. <laughs> um, the way this algorithm works, I don't know. It's, I don't even know why I use that word, like as if I'm an algorithm doctor. No, um, but I will tell you, I don't know why, but there will be videos where I did a product TikTok or I did a quick mix up or I did a drop of info for business. Those things might be six months old and they're still getting views. I don't know why it does what it does, but it does that. It's not like other platforms. So I actually have a virtual assistant team that is just specifically involved in handling those. Um, but the repurposing of content is super important. I have tons and tons of batch content. Um, I've, you know, done recordings and trainings multiple times with Trent Shelton. That's one of my good friends. Um, you know, Rob Deerdick, etc. I repurposed it on YouTube. I repurposed those things on, you know, Eric Worre, whatever, everybody. Um, I repurposed all of them from not only the podcast, but to Instagram short clips, Instagram TVs, Facebook videos, YouTube, in my weekly vlog. Like, I'm all, I'm all about that but I just want you guys not to overcomplicate because I know there's tons of different uh, achievement levels on here and I just want you all to have fun with it please don't overthink this it is a fun app like I didn't even know about the hiding words thing um, but just on that point I love haters I freaking am obsessed with haters they are like my favorite people on earth so I actually in a way without being crazy about it I will purposely sometimes kind of bait the haters um, because you can actually click on their comments and underneath the comment, there's going to be a little video camera. If you hit the video camera, you can respond with a video. So you can respond with a TikTok. So you can clap back whenever you want to, but a little tip on that. You don't want to, you don't want to seem like somebody who's a jerk, who's always got an attitude problem. <laughs> Mommy always comes back, remember? I tell you that since you were one minute old, six weeks old. Jesse Lee. What? Why is this emoji on your mood board? You know exactly why that emoji's on my mood board. Both have the same look. I need to look at them. Like statues, and she's drooling. Goomba, you wanna come live with me? He's like, nah. You was looking at a house with a football field and you talking about securing the bag. You got the bag already. <laughs> Calm down. No, you want to see what bag I want? Jesus. But this is the wrong color. This one. What is that? A Birkin. I thought you had to be on some special list. I am on the list. I'm getting it this year. Well, damn. <laughs> Black. Jesse, Jesse Lee said, oh, I'm not on the list? <coughs> oh, you'll be hearing you from me. You put me on the list right now. So to go to the point of somebody was saying, you know, they get on here and you kind of just scroll and you don't really pay attention. I've got pages and pages and pages of notes. I was um, talking on a stage with Gloria Mayfield Banks yesterday and connecting with all those people. I was on a stage with, you know, Bradley and uh, a lot of mega influencers and huge, huge investors the other day. And it's crazy because... I think one of my favorite things about this app is how quickly you can connect with high level people. And these are people where you realize you're literally one connection away from an entirely different life sometimes. So hear me on that in that uh, what I basically did was I went on that stage. I, well, Brad put me on the stage as a moderator. I was on the moderator on the stage for like four hours. And then my DM, again, I was messaging Fraser about it. I'm like, every other person is a blue check. Every other person. So now my calendar is booked with people who uh, they want to be on my podcast. But more importantly for me, they're like, we didn't realize how, who you are or how, how powerful you are. We've never heard you before. Uh, can you be on my podcast? So now I'm on all these podcasts with all these people that are, you know, real estate giants and investment giants and whatever else. And so I think especially as I'm looking at the audience and a lot of you, I know, like I'm looking through this whole thing. I know a lot of you. 
Like we tend to stay sometimes in our own little worlds, in our own little bubbles, in our own little profession. And we forget sometimes the world is so big. And TikTok really opened my eyes to that for the first time in a long time, a couple of months ago, when overnight I had, you know, 100,000 followers on there. But then this, you know, these are people I've been trying to connect with that were not paying attention to my DMs and now they're sliding in mine. So um, I would just encourage all of you to, you know, raise your hands, get up on stages, ask questions, make yourself known. Um, if you're going to spend time on it, then spend time on it and just add value. You know, I'm not out there saying, hey, follow me, follow me, follow me. Like you're going to follow me because I add content. I add value. I'm, I'm not boring you. I'm, I'm adding value. And that's the same of every single um, every single social media platform. So if you want to turn a clubhouse interaction into a real life connection, well then act like you would in real life and then you can make real life friends. So um, I appreciate all you guys being on here. I hope you're taking notes from anybody who's speaking up here that's dropping some value in your life. And uh, I don't know, I, you never know where you're going to find your best friend, right? So maybe it's on clubhouse. I don't know. That's crazy that you guys got water in here. <laughs> yeah, it's already open right here, but they're gonna have to drive like the bottom has to drive real good. Yeah. Like, you put the floor on top of that, then hey, how you doing? You see that? It's scary. And uh, yeah, if you put the flooring on top of it, it's it's gonna go bad. Yeah. So yeah. you really need to drive a little bit. Yeah. But all the way over there. Wookie, did you know there were some people in this place? Yes. Yeah. This is talking later. Yeah. 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 So that's what I was talking about. Yeah, it does have caulking. I thought it didn't have any. So that's the caulking that goes right here. That one's good. This one is good. Just paint it. Yeah. That one just changed to that, changed to that one. Paint the cabinets, you can uh, that one like uh, sand it and then paint it. Yeah. You don't need a lot of things in here. Oh. But I also want to remind people, it's not just about sliding into somebody's DM the first time, because just remember that people are possibly, even if they're on Clubhouse, remember this is an audio app, so like- Jesse Lee, is your bag packed? You, le you leave in a couple hours, why don't you go pack your bag? I. You don't think it's necessary to pack your bag, huh? Two hours before your flight. Go pack your bag. Nope. I don't feel Keep like talking it. about some no. I'm a speaker in two rooms. I don't give a damn. You need your bag packed. You need to pack your bag. I already picked out your outfit. All you got to do is put it in the damn suitcase. I'm a networking. Paul talk about some no. <laughs> I no. I know you don't want to do this. I picked everything out. All you have to do is put it in the suitcase. Oh my God! Where is it? Put it? Why is it not in there? He's gonna ask me to talk because I'm amazing. Okay, well, what we care about is you making your flight. Underwear, socks, and then what I picked out. Think about underwear because someone's gonna be out always tattooing me, and I don't want to be a oh. My goodness! All you gotta do is put in comfortable underwear. And then put them outfits that I picked. Pick the drip that I picked. That's it. you've been on Clubhouse all day from working out to getting your eyelashes done to anything and everything. So I'm just going to turn it to you. Talk to us a little bit about sponsoring. I mean, I've been twerking on Clubhouse. Y'all don't know about it. I've been doing Zooms on Clubhouse. Y'all don't even know about it. No, I'm kidding. Um, I, yeah, I've been doing all kinds of stuff, but I think that's kind of what I like about this app is it allows you to really just live your life and then come on and personally develop. I think one of the cool things that I've noticed is that a lot of people, um, I just invited a ton of leaders of ours to this call. I hit that plus sign. I was like, get in here, get in here, get in here. Uh, what I noticed is that you start to realize the gaps in your day when you're literally doing nothing. And now at least I have 
a little bit of Rob Sperry in my ear. Always Lisa Grossman, living legend in my ear. Come on with it. It's been a whole 30 minutes and this bag still ain't packed. What is going on? Jesse Lee, Jesus Christ. What are you doing? Why isn't this bag packed? Sorry. What I do you me. have to say for yourself? What do you have to say for yourself? I even told her, I'm like, I'm going to walk in here and that bag is not going to be packed. Talking about come check to see if the shoes is right. The shoes are the only thing in the bag. That's not true. You bully. <sighs> you must not want to go. Get stuck in the scroll hole, right? They're on Jesse Lee has a, a, a machine that cleans her jewelry. Time to go to bed. I know Brian Fryer, you just said a real one. Yeah, you have to. Put, put water in it. And then clean her. cleaner. So I would encourage you because of not that much. Well, oh, I guess they're going to be squeaky. Boom. To set your attention. Set your this is new. You said rich stuff. He said Jesse Lee. Yeah, you're right. I guess. He said Jesse Lee's special. That machine looks like it's from Spy Kids. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Sheesh. Rolling. Oh, so now Jesse Lee's ready to go. Wow. What? Is it sucking on you? Yeah. Hi. Hi. She may understand this whole clubhouse thing as well or better than anybody. So let's talk about how one can use I cannot stand her. clubhouse to actually. Goodbye. Wow. What do you feel like it's doing? I guess it's sucking stuff out of my face. I don't know. Has to be, right? That's what it looks like. Like a vacuum. Listen to it. For your pores. Yeah. This is cool. It's all about um, he said serving, good. giving yeah, value. Um, no, it's water. Most of us up here have large so audiences. much drip might <laughs> slip, as you said, now, Prince. Wait. Go back. <laughs> Miss Charles, the beginning, because I think most of us, Miss Charles, Mr. Charles, that was hilarious. Oh, my ear is glistening. I told you. When we were Good Lord. Pull me, baby's like, oh, we. What's your thing, Jen? All right. And also how, like, you Swipe the camera, and um, when it is uh, done, uh, it will be in Vegas. How was your first class experience? Oh my gosh, it's like a spa. Except for I missed out on a lot of things. There's no blanket on this fly. We didn't get any food. Did you ask for blankets? It was only, I didn't ask for blankets. It was only two hours, so there was no food. But it was bomb. It was so cushy. And then the headrest, like, hug your head. You know? You owe Jesse Lee $15 for leaving your backpack in the Uber. I left my backpack in the Uber. <laughs> Say good night. Good night, y'all. Yeah, sure. yeah. Pretty scenic. Call up Rising G and tell them that I need a red. Most of y'all ain't even five men. I am not impressed. If you especially in here with how well this yeah, went yeah, down, yeah, that like this really is my well. favorite part From of the being tattoo. So dark inside your thigh, it could have blown out very easily, but it didn't. Yeah, got that good skin or something. Yes, but like so, this I got done in Hawaii. Oh, that's I know this. I know obviously it's. Totally different and right. whatever else, but like even some of this could be some stuff up, you know what up I mean? Just to kind of connect, okay. just connections, okay. like right, 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 all of it. Like 
shark teeth especially are very not only like for me in general but just hawaiians as a whole mm -hmm. could be cool like i don't know like if you because he'll have time perfect. you know if he yeah. wants to outline some of it or yeah he wants to give it like a once over pass through anyways yeah i know he said um, he wanted to like just double check but yeah i think just because everything's so <clears throat> seamless and solid that sticks out like yep. a sore thumb mm -hmm. and same thing that especially that inside of your butt chunk. cheek yeah okay yep all right everything else is fine nothing blew out you don't want to go no it healed so well you don't want to go down on the top no, of your foot or anything no. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Small town country Maryland where I grew up, they discredited me before I ever even had an opportunity to show people what I had. And I think that there's so many people in the world that do that. You know, they look at a resume and they see a name that's maybe spelled differently than, you know, Tom or Taylor or Kimberly or Mary, you know, or whatever it is. And uh, they don't even give these people a shot. And so I think that from a very young age, I just started realizing that you know, I knew the power inside of myself, even though other people weren't seeing it. And then I wonder how many people are out there that have that similar thing. And so uh, I, I have built a multiple, 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 multiple <coughs> seven figure monthly business, almost $9 million in sales a month currently just in one of my sources of income based off of these quote unquote normal people. And I think as soon as you start normalizing the things that people see as strange, uh, you start realizing there's a lot of magical people out there that just haven't won yet. The winners who have not yet won yet for sure are who I like to go after and that's just really allowing people to borrow belief from you before they believe in themselves. Where are you going, Jesse Lee? I don't know, I'm gonna be so mad. It's not like that. <laughs> Just the networking yes. thing, and then we gotta go to another networking thing, and then we gotta figure out how to be on eight o'clock training at five o'clock. You look scary with this lighting. Oh, well, that's not nice. Hello? Hey! It's Jesse Lee. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh. So good. Hello. Hey, how are you, stranger? I was like, what? I'm looking. Good to meet you. He apparently waited for us. This is Courtney. Oh, Bryson, look. Bryson, hey, Bryson. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Bryson. Bryson. The plane. I'm like, oh, let me see what's on the house. And it's like, ding. It's like asking me to be a speaker again. And then I happen to say, oh, sorry, just landed in Vegas. So he DM me. He's like, what are you doing in Vegas? I am fast, okay? <laughs> just kidding, uh, I don't know. Frank is screwing around down there. Yeah, what were you doing down there? I kept looking for you guys. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. They let us through the gate and uh, we sent our location to make sure we're a murderer. And it was <laughs> <laughs> Facts are not a text. <laughs> the unknown. No murderers here. <clears throat> cool. Yeah. So you're here, Scottsdale, or you didn't say Scottsdale, but Arizona. Scottsdale. Ah, yeah, you know. Scottsdale. Uh, I wouldn't be. And uh, yeah, Utah. Okay. Yeah. So the first one, what do I care about? I care a lot about people. I'm, my whole business is not for empathy. So um, I like to be polarizing, sort of my thing. Like you either love it or you hate it. Either way, I love me, so I don't really care. Um, and then so much of what I do is is to give back. So I mean, not like. I've got the exotic cars, I've got the look how crazy, I got all that stuff, which is cool. I'm trying to put on a saint, I'm not a monk, I'm not any of that, but um, I like to give back. You're not the Red Cross, you don't work for free. Right, I'm not the Red Cross. I, don't, I like that. Can, can we make sure we put that in the box? <laughs> I'm not the Red Cross, I don't work for free. Um, I do a lot for free, actually, though. Yeah. Which is why I think my voice is never going to come back. I've got like this raspy. Like, it's a thing. Sex phone operator thing going oh, on for about three that's, months that's now. That's actually real money right there. Yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Uh, this but, is Jesse Lee. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a little raspy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge you extra for that. Oh god, I, my voice cracks in the little clubhouse. I'm like, what are these people even thinking? I don't know. Uh -huh. But uh, at any rate, so um, I do a lot of coaching and stuff for free. So I've done everything grassroots. Like still to this day, I get to pay for an app. So I have a massive, massive organic reach, and it's all super fans. Great. Like super. 
super fans. Like if I, I mean, I don't know, you could ask that more than anybody, but I was wondering why the flight attendant didn't tell me to put my mask on at all yesterday. We get off the plane and she's like, hey, hey, you're just calling ah. on TikTok. And I'm like, we're wow. like, yeah, woo! <laughs> like, you know, yeah. I was like, I even you're like now, you're like, like, you're like, now I know I made it. I'm gonna put on my damn no, mask. No, I don't even want to be like that, but, uh, but no. So I do, I do a lot of stuff for free though. I, I like doing the social media marketing. It's fun. Um, yeah. I don't know. What was the next question? There were a lot in there. Yeah, just where, where, where are you headed? Where are things going for you? Like, usually, you know, somebody like you and you. You build something. There's always the next step, or, yeah. or or at least open energetically to. Always. Yeah. Um, Can't stand still. No, I definitely have ADHD. What do you see me like doing this? I know. My brain's really it's, fast. It's, ADHD is a gift. I know. You know. I when know. You can I used, harness it. You're it was horrible when I was in elementary school. And now I'm like <laughs> superpower. <laughs> Y'all suck. <laughs> So this, I mean, I have some real estate this year. My big thing. I really want to do a lot of real estate because my liquid is. My liquid's massive, and then I have nine very, I have nine streams of income. So maybe Pruitt destroys all of them. Like I'm not gonna pretend it doesn't, you know. This year my goal for Pruitt is 12 million, mm -hmm. yeah, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, um, which I'm excited about. But that allows me then to do so many other things. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the reason I asked that question. Yeah. So, so because that, I mean, I just I. The word, like the word I always use is legacy. So I grew up in poverty, so but, so then for me, it was like so much of what I do uh, is because I, I like the breaking of generational curses. I like being able to change, not just my life, which has obviously changed, but everyone that I come with, you know, not everyone that I come with, <coughs> with, but, well, her life is very different, you know? She was a disaster. You have your walking testimonials? Tons, yeah. <laughs> so many, of, I have. I've always in short, you know what I'm saying? Your handful of supernovas. Mm -hmm. But you're you'd be like, hey, can you connect to it? Well, yeah, yeah, sure. Next yeah, sorry, uh, uh, uh. It's like as soon as you fall, as soon as I say ten sentences, oh my god! So this thing is oh like my. heaven sent. There they all are, like all of a sudden we're all homies. So like, it's oh like this thing has been heaven sent by Crazy. God essentially because the timing of it after running this for three years. Because we have five cities that we have up and running where every single month we've been doing events. And the goal was always to bring it into a bunch of cities. So this year we'll be expanding into a bunch of cities. So I basically fund companies. I've got a couple of funding companies. That's what, that's what I love to do intellectually. Mm -hmm. But my purpose is to build communities of purpose and contribution driven entrepreneurs that are like mm -hmm. growth minded givers yeah. kind of thing. And so we've got five cities that we've been running. It's been a lot of fun. And most of my friends have been like, dude, what are you doing? This makes no sense. Now they're like, okay, I get it. This is, this is pretty freaking cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so now we're, you know, and, and so I'm just collecting, I'm looking for Avengers, basically. I'm like, how do I, how do I bring Avengers together? Let them have whatever their story is, whatever their income streams are, great. But let's lift as many of these other people as we can in a, in a concentrated fashion. Because the way I look at it is Tony Robbins is great, no, you know, no disrespect to what he's done, um, but it's it's a Batman or Superman model. Mm -hmm. It really is. I know. So to me, I'm like... It's the I, same with what, what you're looking at with Eric. Yeah. yeah I mean, he's modeled his whole business, I think, off of Tony. Tony's one of his main mentors. Yeah, and I think that's a mistake in the millennial age. I think that yeah. it's better to do the Avengers, and so I, I look at myself not like as that. like <laughs> Thor or... Iron Man or Hulk, I don't need, I'm just Captain America over here or Nick Fury or whatever. I'm the glue. I'll bring them together. I don't have any of the cool superpowers. Hey, I you know? do, so that's okay. Yeah, that's true. She's, she's like, I'm Captain Marvel. <laughs> and anyway, you know, she, yeah, she's more powerful than all of them, isn't she? So yeah, and that's just my thing. I'm, I'm kind of supposed to be that first Avenger that has a vision for it, was willing to work for it, put it together. Um, I mean, because it took like three years of like trying it and seeing what would happen when there was no horizon for sure. what, what could this become. So it's like, I don't mind going in being the Marine that establishes the beachhead and says, okay, guys, we're good to go. This is, we're planting our flag here. We can, mm -hmm. this is the hill we're going to die on, this kind of thing. So, so that's basically yeah. it. Are you uh, an Avenger? Uh, he's one of the Avengers? So? Yeah. He's <laughs> ready. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been a part of this yeah. yet. Like, that. that's, like a, be, sure. that's hilarious. <laughs> No, he's you know he's he's really successful as you guys can tell. Like he's also had his own experience with it. I don't want to make it sound like spice is this. It's yeah. a mustard seed of what it's going to become. But yeah, he's he's loving it. He's drinking the Kool Aid. So mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's cool. His group because it's like all these different experts, you know. And so I've just noticed people are good at certain things, you know. But like 
I've never been part of a group that has expert, like real niche experts in so many different areas. It's like you just are constantly inspired and motivated. I've never yeah. felt that before with a group. So yeah. it's sick. We're making moves. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, I didn't do it for money, but I mean, I am a deal guy. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, so it's yeah, like, I get it. so at the bottom of this massive funnel that's going to be built, and B and I. Is that this? Is this your? your I was uh, looking at that too. Yeah. Isn't that cool? No, that's stuff. that's actually he's uh, he's building out a new business. Here. Yeah, that's a, uh, a dating um, a dating course I made seven figure seven figure dating is what it's called because the target is like. Sign me like, up! Let's <laughs> bring the in your phone. Well, I have to focus on dudes. Oh. Yeah, that's what my guy said. Keep it niche. Well, yeah, but you can make an exception. <laughs> yeah, but like, what's the goal? Well, you have to if you're if you're. No, I'm gonna keep talking. If you're doing it with men. I wanted, I wanted to go, like I came out with these books and everyone, you know, kind of wanted to do a YouTube channel on it and they're like, well, before you go generally, you need to do like something niche focused and get a following, you know? They said, why don't you do dating? So, uh, but, I, but my, my actual expertise is like people that are a little more higher intelligence with higher anxiety, you know what I'm saying? Assets, like they have different problems, you know, they're stubborn. So those are the people I make the best headway with, you know? Yeah. That's why I call the company Seven Figure Dating and I came out with video courses for online dating during COVID. And then uh, I just, I got sidetracked. I, had, I started a telemed company, I'm yeah. uh, But so right now I have time though to get back into it and I just happen to meet Kurt and it's great. Mm. Yeah, we're getting going. If you guys like my, my mood lighting or something, I don't know what's going on over here. We're, uh, we're in a penthouse actually on, uh, on the Las Vegas Strip. And I'm telling you right now, um, there's this app some of you are on. It's, it's this clubhouse app, right? And I, don't ask me how to get you in because I don't understand how it works. But I will tell you, I have been on there learning in between all of my meetings. Sometimes I just stay in the room during my meetings. I, I am telling you right now, it is crazy. Not only have I learned so much, I am so motivated. I told Courtney, I said, I can't wait to train tonight because I feel like my brain is busting. I feel like my brain is busting. Okay, and I'm so sorry. Y'all should all go get iPhones. Okay, welcome to the light side. All right, I apologize much for Androids. All right, but uh, you know, sorry, not sorry. It's only for the cool kids right now. Just kidding. Uh, we don't know how to invite you. At least I don't know how to invite you but anyway I have been on there for what guys like how long has it been Brittany Anderson how long has this app existed Courtney or whoever else is on there Amanda Amanda's on there not whatever a couple who not even a month well it's been like a week and a half right maybe a week and a half maybe 10 days or something very short period of time I will tell you I've been on all these stages tons and tons of stages over the last couple of weeks or last couple of days uh, and so it's, I'll tell you who got who got really excited about it. I don't see her on my screen, but I'm sure she's on here. Jenny and baby Charlie, okay? So Jenny's like, I'm so excited about this app. It's gonna be the best networking. I'm like, oh my God, like seriously. Oh my God, all right, whatever. And she said she wished she had a video camera on me the other day because, uh, when, uh, because I, I just started getting put on stages. I started getting put on all these stages, being asked questions left, right, and center. Next thing you know, I'm on a stage with literal people, I mean, people worth literally, you know, I don't know, $500 million plus billionaires, whatever. They're hearing my voice. They're literally following me. My DM was packed full of verified people. Uh, it was wild. I'm going to be on all these podcasts, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm just learning. I'm just sitting and learning in between everything. And so while I'm sitting and learning in between everything, I'll tell you, the craziest thing is they're all adding me on Instagram. So then I'm, I got off the plane yesterday. I said, oh, Courtney, Bryson. I said, I wonder what's going on on Clubhouse. And like Bryson, Bryson and Courtney are like, oh my God. And I'm like, I don't care. I want to get on there and learn. Cause you know, you know, the more you learn, the more you earn. So I literally get off the airplane. I pop my AirPods in and I'm walking on my way to the toilet, you know, cause I had to pee. And literally I hear that ding. I'm like, uh oh. I didn't even know what room I had clicked on. Ding, uh-oh. It was calling me to the stage. Well, I went, oh, no. So I'm literally peeing, getting on the stage. I, somebody said, oh, no. And the person I don't even know. The person I don't even know starts edifying me. In actually inaccurate edification, said I sell a billion dollars a year. I'm like manifesting that. All right, let's get to the billion a year. Wow. Okay. At the same time, the flight attendant knew knew me from TikTok. I mean, it was a really interesting situation. All right, social media. I'm telling you. But anyhow, so I'm like a billion. Okay. Well, I really need to bring it. So then they un you know I'm unmuted. I'm on the stage and I said, whoa, whoa, whoa sorry, sorry. I just landed at the airport in Vegas. 
Is this an interesting story? Am I boring you guys? Like, I don't want to bore any of you with my with my random stories about why you should learn and communicate and network and make yourself uncomfortable. Okay, just making sure. All right, so I'm I'm literally peeing, walking. They unmute me. I'm like, oh heavens! All right, so I so I said, oh sorry, you know, I'm, I just got off the plane. I'm in Vegas. I instantly get a DM from somebody who's an investor, a real estate guy, whatever, whatever. He goes, oh, he's like, you're in Vegas. What are you in Vegas for? I'm like, oh, God. Oh, geez. Okay. I'm a, so I'm not even in his, this is not his penthouse. He's this investor. He's got multiple properties. But I said, yeah, I'll meet you. So we met him. Uh, we shared our location just in case. <laughs> I'm never, just kidding. But like not kidding. Uh, and then he said, this whole place is full of all kinds of people. Bryson's networking. I, I mean, it's crazy. Okay. It's crazy. You never know. And then after this, we're supposed to go over to Brad Lee's. Uh, we're supposed to go to Brad Lee, you know, like, you know, whatever. And then Eric Worry up in the hills is like, are you coming over for dinner? I'm like, oh, jeepers. So I'm just, I'm trying to put in perspective for some of you. You got to put yourself in situations where you're scared. All right. I got a text message from Jamie Lynn today. She's like, I just, I don't speak up enough. I know I don't speak up enough. I'm like, look, Y'all, it's all about speaking up. Whenever I see y'all in these rooms, ask Amanda Hodge-Mahalas, ask Sydney, ask Brittany. I'm throwing all y'all on the stage. I'm like, Sydney, freaking go talk. I know a lot of these people. So I'm texting them like, you need to bring up um, Sydney Smith. I'm going to need you to bring up Amanda Hodge-Mahalas to the stage. Like, I mean, I'm, you need to get Courtney Shepard up on the stage. You have to communicate with more people. You become like the five people you spend the most time with. I um, and you and you ask people, you know, does this resonate with you? Um, you could do a. I'm going back to TikTok for a minute here because I see some of the things like this. You could pull something like cart, you know, uh, do a TikTok where it says something like, "I'm gonna pull three affirmations. Tell me which one in the comment, one, two, or three, which one resonates more with you." If you're into something like this, follow me and drop info. We sell affirm actions deck of affirmation cards like literally people are eating this stuff up right now and i just think that when i'm trying to sell a lot which this is what i do i love sales um or marketing to people i like to solve people's issues right so so where are people's pain points maybe this is something like it says right here you're a homelessness and mental health advocate then people need affirmations so tell people you know starting your day with affirmations and gratitude is statistically proven by xyz percents i don't know what i know you do though you know like like to change the trajectory of your world or whatever your pitch is just get in people's hearts i can feel just from talking listening to you and talking to you for five minutes that that's just who you are um and so so I, I think this is so strong uh and then to answer your question about changing what's in it i would just be constantly um maybe innovating colors maybe innovating when it comes to um this is just off the top of my head obviously but maybe seasons you know um maybe anything trending like maybe if all of a sudden animals get really big or something like that or you know when harry potter was really big or you know magic or whatever it is whatever happens to be big just i, I would innovate around that instead of saying okay we're gonna put out a new deck every you know 60 90 days <laughs> Down to a full split. Well, I pulled my hamstring, but uh -huh. hey, how you doing? This is Bryson. Bryson, Bryson. Bryson. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to Got that sage burn. Yeah. I know. Good I energy know. only. Mm -hmm. That's right. I was like, when's the last time I've seen you? Like, like years, literal years. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. How are you? I haven't seen you in forever. How are you? My hair is, you know, different again. Seriously, every time you come in, I'm like. I know. I like to switch it up. Just a little keep you correct, you know. I've been great, thank you. Oh, busy, 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 busy. I'd rather be busy than bored, you know. <sighs> well, I have that. Cool. And then your. The butt hurts too. So, so because when you stand up, oh, that's really that's like your. Oh, so when you stand up, it'll like. 
so if we cover that, that's your under cheek. So when you stand, you won't even see. Yeah. So it's really kind of like the, that. Yeah. Cool. And then oh. I'll just fill in any, mm. and even in like, um, inside of the mouth, I'll go in and just really tighten things up and. Okay. Cool. Yeah. First. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. This year now, I'm like, there's no labels. This fucking. Oh, trying to like, I had to be something like everybody's. I'm a vegan. You're not. There's not even food in front of you. You're a vegan. I'm like, hey, I'm a lesbian. You're. You know, that's. That's what you're into. It's not you. You <laughs> like women. You like men. Like you're not. I don't know. It's, it's a trip. Like people need to identify. Like, I believe in Jesus, but. I'm, not a Christian. I'm just a dude who thinks that dude is awesome. Like <laughs> <laughs> straight up. I'm just yeah. Joseph and these are the things I like. Yeah. It's not me. People need to be attached to something or they don't feel like anyone. It's so crazy. Like the the, the five attachments that I read was is mind blowing to help you like understand the childhood trauma and then being attached to things. I mean it starts out in school, like the younger generation you guys have more labels where in the 90s it was like you were a stoner jock a gangster a preppy like and then the others and that was it and it was even like that in prison like you're segregated by race and then there's the others mm -hmm. which is like weird you know um but the, the the five attachments teaches why people i mean even explains like people that are sports fans like they don't have and they don't know who they are so like i'm a raiders fan Mm. Like, and mm -hmm. if you're not a Raiders fan, fuck you. And he, this guy even gave a scenario, like, he's like, this this guy lost the Super Bowl. His team lost the Super Bowl. And when he was leaving, he fucking saw an opposite team. He was so threatened. Who he thought he was was so threatened. Mm -hmm. He thinks he's the team. And he ran down four people in, because that's how that attachment. And so mm -hmm. when you don't go along with people's stories, if you have friends that push you away, it's not personal. It's because you're not going along with their bullshit story. They don't even know it's bullshit. You're threatening who they think they are. Oh, good. Thank you. Get naked, Jesse Lee. Oh, my God. Look <laughs> 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 camera. You guys see like two Jewish ladies. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, oh, my God, your butt got bigger. Yes. Like, yeah, I know. It's good that way. People keep asking Michelle if she did something to her butt. She's like, people ask me too. She's like, no, I just my Kayla waist Han. got smaller, and then Kayla and then, Han asked uh, me if I got my butt done. <laughs> no, you always had a good butt. Yeah, I was just bigger. Yeah. <laughs> ready to? <laughs> you look like you're ready to get like your flu shot or something. <laughs> <laughs> Vaccinate me. <laughs> Assume the position. <laughs> It's Jesse Lee's booty. It's Jesse Lee's she booty. You guys haven't seen it in like two years. I know. Oh, I missed you. We we missed you. Missed you. You're oh. amazing energy. Uh, yes. and you're always optimistic and inspiring. Uh, oh my God. You've been changing people's lives. And you sit really you. well. Yeah. You. She is the... <laughs> she goes by Boss Lee. And she really is a boss. She's a true hustler, an entrepreneur. A lot of people have good ideas, but they don't have the ambition, and that's something you can't teach, is ambition. Like, we'll just pretend she's on the hot ones right now. This camera, this camera, this camera. I know. You should tell be on us, hot ones. Yes. Crazy. Tell us, tell us where they can find you online. Because um, you've got a long list. we got to start now. All right, so <laughs> Instagram, I'm Boss Lee. TikTok, I'm Boss Lee. Clubhouse, Boss Lee. Facebook, Jesse Lee Ward. YouTube, Jesse Lee Ward. Where else am I? And it's J-E-S-S-E. I-E. I-E. Sorry, yeah. J-E-S-S-I-E. Give me a link tree. Oh, yeah. Oh. Link tree in the bio. It's in so, the bio. for you girls. <laughs> it's in the bio. Uh, yes. for, you know, this oh, is, my podcast. That's for, what I was waiting on. For our industry girls that were out here that were dancers that were actually on their way to go do something that are in a rut, she can help you make some money and oh, take your awesome yes, personality, totally. take that work ethic. Yes. And, and, you know, and, um, you know, you don't. You're already used to. You ain't got to do OnlyFans. You can do other. You can spend all your time yes. just just building. Use your Let brain. the money work for you, right? Yes. yes. That's true. Because there's a lot of industry girls. I mean, just like my first wife, she danced her way through college, and now she's a lawyer. There's a lot of girls that are. There's a lot of girls that just love it, and that's their. And they like to party. They're like, why not party and be sexy? And there's some that are like, I'm gonna use what I got while I'm 20, 20 early 30s, and then, <laughs> you know. 
She's using her brain, but she's got the booty to back it up, guys. I know. Big booty. <laughs> Just leave, just leave, just leave. Where you at? Where you at? Eminem? 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 Yes. This is very true. You also don't want to see my laptop. Oh, here, wait. This might be me. Don't trip over my awesome. It's everywhere. Oh, oh wow. When Jesse Lee says she loves black people, this is how she looks. <laughs> Jessie Lee says she loves black people. She looks like this. What? <laughs> Look, I say it on every live. If you don't think black lives matter, you need to leave the vlog. <laughs> Jessie Lee, will she get an orgasm? Oh my god, you are exactly. <laughs> this is me most days. <laughs> <laughs> what do oh, you say? It doesn't work. I thought it worked. Bryson G, this is you. <laughs> <laughs> This is Prince though, with the fashion. With the fashion. <laughs> right. This is all of us, the happy family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know what that eggplant's doing. They go Zach a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Bryce and G. Hey. Bryce and G. Hey. Bryce and G. Hey. Bryce and G. Hey. <laughs> What are those? They're mailers. Oh, this is our stuff for Um, so the flood took so long to handle, there's mold. It's just a great day in the neighborhood. So you're beautiful day in the sucking the moisture out? Could you be mine? I don't know. You don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know what's going on. Levels? 10 out of 10 times and let the achievement catch up. Your paycheck will get there if you're developing and if you're leading and if you're helping, you know? I know there's frustration. Look, and let me just say something. Because the limit does not exist in entrepreneurship, you're always gonna want more. I don't know who needs to hear that. But some of you are frustrated because you're not making the money you wanna make yet, your business isn't where you want your business to be yet, you're not cashing the checks, having the rank, doing whatever that you want, guess what? 
You're always going to want more. There's always another level. There's no one sign six. No. What do you mean? I will tell you from real life experience. I thought that when I made $10,000 a month that like, the heavens were gonna open. <laughs> like, I was sure, right? I was like, oh, my whole life's gonna change. Well, uh, newsflash, it didn't. And then I thought, oh, when I make $50,000 a month, my whole life is going to change. It's going to shift. Everything's going to be different. I don't know what that accent was, okay? But whatever. Okay, guess what? It didn't. We talk about it constantly. And I decided in order to continue to build the culture, that we were going to reward it. So MVPs, whether it's, I'm gonna give you some ideas. Well, so that our rank is called MVP. So whatever your, your rank, supervisor, okay, thank you. So supervisor rank, supervisors, could you mail certificates so people feel appreciated? Could you get team swag with your team logo on it that when they hit the rank above supervisor, they get a t-shirt with team urbanation on it, right? Or a hat or pens, or water bottles, you know, so they can mix their protein shakes, or whatever else it is. What are the things that you can do that pull people back in? Because again, we are in a volunteer sales force. You all know this, you're in one of the best legacy companies of all time. It's a volunteer sales, sales force. Some people are in, some people are out. 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 I'm constantly thinking to myself, what makes her stay one more day? What will make Frederick stay one more day? 60 more days, 90 more days. If I have filled your house with empire swag and bottles and shirts and hats and photos and certificates and whatever else, when you're having a bad day and you walk past something and you go, oh my gosh, there's that magnet from Jesse Lee again. Oh God, oh there's that hat, there's that stupid hat. Oh God, I was gonna quit, but here we go. She's pulling me back in again, she's pulling me back in again, she's pulling me back in again. It's powerful. The spoon got me. That's what I get for eating carbohydrates. Like jacket. Like spoon. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm washing my hands. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. I got you. We got you. What's up with your? That's the same cry that Tarzan made. Just so you know. When he was a baby. I get to feed her. Ever? Yeah. You lie. No, she's been, she's only breastfed and I don't have milk in my nips. Yeah, because you had silicone in there. That is I not have why. silicone in mine. Woo! <laughs> no, that's not why, Prince of Peace. No, I don't have silicone. I have saline. There we go. There we go. Did you leave that is in your baby? No, it isn't. You stole that. Look, I can that. feed her now and everything. You stole her. That's my milk. That's my baby. Wow. <laughs> and it came out. <laughs> You're hungry, huh? Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. Um, which is, you know, perfect for this room right here. And so I look at, at what we're doing here and I would encourage all of you to network with really, really powerful people. As an example, um, I was in a clubhouse room with one of my mutual contacts, one of my mutual contacts, and uh, he ended up making me a speaker and a moderator. And you have to think about how many people you are probably one person away from getting to know that could expand your entire business. I'm gonna say it again because I know we're clubhousing, which means we're multitasking, okay? Because when you go clubbing, you're multitasking. But you are one person away from changing your entire business. 
And what I mean by that is there is somebody in some of these clubhouse rooms while this app remains very, very, very evergreen, right? Like this is not a diluted app right now. Okay, there's not a lot of people on here. It's, I know it's like 40 million people, which might sound like a lot, it's not. These are really high quality contacts, and so I want you to do that accordingly. So I started networking, I got put on this stage, and a lot of you, I hope you're realizing, are a lot better than you think you are. Raise your hand in those groups. Get on stage, ask questions, and also contribute. Because if you do that, what's happening is these people are reaching out, they're trying to network with me. When I went to Vegas just to get tattooed, that's what Christy was talking about, I went to Vegas to get tattooed and on our my one free day after I got my leg stenciled or whatever, um, I ended up meeting up with several investors in Vegas in like penthouses that I met on Clubhouse and we were talking about network marketing and they knew Terry LaCour, which Lisa will, is giggling wherever she's listening in from, um, about that and it's just you're, you're one person away from having the team you want and if I were you, I would utilize your social media outreach in general, whether that's groups, whether that's you know hashtags, whatever it is for you, uh, TikTok. I found one of my German recruits on TikTok, um, and just really get to know people. Really get to know people. Reach out to people. It has allowed me to build a very large global business, and I hope there was some value in some things that I just said to all of you. It's really great to be in the room with you. Um, and any questions, I will answer while I continue to drive home. You are amazing. Thank you so much. No, stop. Jesse Lee is not. Hey guys, thanks for checking out Weekly Jesse Lee. If you love this vlog and if you want more and if you want to see more about my day in the life and what it really takes to have a successful business or multiple successful businesses, please make sure you subscribe, share with a friend, comment below, and just let me know so I can give you what you want.